Hello everybody, welcome to Tokyo Creative Play. I'm your host Emma and today I'm here with Sarah and Shiori. Today's video is in collaboration with Suntory Time. And Suntory Time is about relaxing with Japanese style food and drinks and just being zen and enjoying the moment. Today we're going to be making a variety of finger foods and pairing them with different beverages and just enjoying them in a nice homey vibe. But uh, today's video is going to be a little different to our usual stuff so hopefully you can just watch along with us and enjoy the ride and learn how to make some different kinds of Japanese food and beverages. And today we're joined by our wonderful friend Jordan. Come on down. Hey guys. Jordan has been doing a lot of work behind the scenes with Tokyo Creative, uh, but today he's joining in the kitchen and going to be making some beverages. Oh, oh, so let's put on some aprons and get started. Yeah. Ta-da! Ta okay, let's get started. So what are you going to be making today for the drinks? So we're making a rock sakura gin tonic and haku mm. with green tea. Very nice. nice. Thank you. So me and Sarah are going to be making uh, asparagus wrapped with thinly sliced meat. What are you making, Shiori? I'm going to make fancy avocado sashimi. Ooh, very Ooh. nice. Okay, so uh, you get started on the drinks and we'll join in later. We'll do. Yoroshiku! <laughs> okay, first things first, let's try the Roku Sakura gin and tonic. For this, a little more complicated, but we'll need a few things. The ice, we need a lime, the tonic, the Kanade Sakura liqueur, and of course, our Roku gin. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a go. I'm excited for this one. Okay, so today with Sarah, we're going to be making some asparagus wrapped with thinly sliced meat and we're going to be pairing it with the Roku Sakura gin and tonic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's actually really easy so you guys can try it at home. Yeah, so the ingredients we'll be using is uh, asparagus and then thinly sliced meat. You can use either beef or pork. Then we have some potato starch, some sesame seeds, salt, pepper and some teriyaki sauce we prepared earlier. Thank you, Emma. Now let's get started. Let's cooking. Let's cooking. Okay, next we're going to make the haku with green tea. Super easy drink that you can make at home. It only takes three ingredients. Get your ice, your green tea, and of course, the star of the show, the haku vodka. Let's give it a go.
Now we're going to prepare fancy avocado sashimi, which is goes well with the hako with green tea. So I'm going to show you how to make it, but it's so simple. All I need to do is cut the avocado and put a lot of nice leaves. And I prepare a lot of the things, but today only use shirancho, seaweed, and nuts. I'm going to make the nice little nuts with this and then white leek. Uh, it could be the green leek or basil. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Let's start. That's really oh, yeah. nice. Good. Oh, see, oh, It's so like herbal. Re yeah, oh. really refreshing. Yeah. What drink are you having, Tioi? I'm drinking Hako with green tea. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? We are having the Roku Sakura Gin Tonic. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're, we're, getting a little... <laughs> <laughs> we're so ready to drink. So ready. <laughs> what are you having, John? Can you guess? It says on the glass right now. <laughs> 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 Classic herbal, <laughs> yeah. Very Japanese. What are the botanicals in it, by the way? Oh man, I'm gonna read these. There's so many. Okay, ready? Mm. Sakura flower, mm -hmm. sencha tea, mm -hmm. sancho pepper. Oh my gosh. Oh. Sakura leaf, mm. gyokuro tea. Mm -hmm. My favorite, the greatest one in here. Yuzu peel. Oh. Oh. Yuzu is always good. I know the yeah. the cowdy the... ones. <laughs> the fragrance. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Look at that vocab. Super nice. <laughs> Super nice. How was yours, Shiori? Mine is very nice green tea flavor. Mm -hmm. But this haku is made of the Japanese rice. Oh. So do you guys mind? If I guess start it. I'm just like, let me add it. Itadakimasu. So this one we made to pair with this drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes really well. Yeah. We went with a teriyaki sauce because can't go wrong. wrong. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, this one choice. can be just salt and pepper, right? It doesn't have to be yeah. teriyaki. No. Yeah. But this is a really classic dish I feel in Japan that you'll see the asparagus yeah. with meat wrapped on it. We are good chefs. We killed it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Well done. Bloody I wish you guys could try with this drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, like the herbal, I don't know. The, the essence, like, yeah. It, it, it really, really complements it quite well. really good. Yeah. But this kind of stuff you can, like, it's really easy, like, to make at home as well. Mm. You know, it's the kind of ingredients that everyone can get. Mm. Okay. So, That's yeah. Good. And it's really yeah, easy. It was really, it was really <laughs> straightforward. So easy, yeah. So, Shiori, what is your one that you made? Was it avocado? I it looks really a, great as well. I made a fancy avocado sashimi. Mm. That Avocado also you can get everywhere, right? Mm. Around the world. But mm -hmm. in Japan, we usually eat avocado with soy sauce and ah, wasabi. I've heard yeah. that. I've never tried it. I'm really excited. And this one yeah. will go as well with this hango mm. uh, with green tea. So, dozo. Okay. Why do you call it sashimi? Oh, I know this one. Oh, okay. It's actually, apparently, it's similar to like makro, it's similar to tuna. Mm -hmm. okay. It has the same texture, it has the same like mouthfeel. Oh, it's it. the yeah. texture uh -huh. thing. So, it's not because it's like raw or uncooked. No, no, no. no. It's like uh -huh. actually similar to. I'm so, messing this up. Yeah. My friend doesn't like tuna, always gets like magro mm. on rice, and he's like, wow, it's just like tuna. Mm. I don't really see it, but it's good. Oh, with pakchi, it's really good. With coriander. Mmm. It's really good. Because normally I would associate like these kind of flavors with um like Mexican food, but then you add the soy sauce and the, the nori, and it suddenly becomes really Japanese. Mm. It's really good. I really want to try this dip as well. Go ahead. I don't know. Oh my gosh. What? I made that. You made oh, it? Oh yeah. my god, it looks amazing. 
I think this dip was tofu edamame. What? Really? Tofu edamame? Yeah. That sounds amazing. Hey. Smart. But it was oh, I'm so excited yeah. to try this. Oh, and there's good. so many nuts on it. This is great. Mm. I think it's so easy to have like a really satisfying like Japanese flavor picnic at home. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I love lots of little dishes to try new mm. flavors and try like individual little things. That's my favorite. Yeah. I feel like it's really easy to cook Japanese at home too, so long as you have like the main like ingredients or sauces, like mm -hmm. soy sauce, meat in, sake. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's a lot of other dishes that go really well um, with these drinks, but uh, you guys can actually check them out. They, these drinks have their own Instagram pages. <laughs> <laughs> Roku has Instagram page, Haku has Instagram page. Kibiki has Instagram page too. And you can go find uh, different recipes and different pairings that go really well with the drinks too. Mm, you can get a lot of inspiration mm. from there for sure. It's mm -hmm. so pretty and nice. Charlotte and Chris, I'm glad they can make it. We all have a little drink together. Mm, yeah, yeah. and fun. we're actually gonna have a video all about Suntory time coming out soon, so you guys should check it out. Mm. Yeah, mm. and thank you so much for watching and coming along with us as we learn how to make more Japanese food and try these awesome drinks. If you guys happen to go on your own adventures of making your own dishes at home, please tag us on Instagram and also use the hashtag Suntory time. Mm. We can check them out, but thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Bye. Oh. Just girls. two friends making asparagus with me. <laughs> two friends, two gal pals. Hey. Thinly sliced. Thinly. It's great to see Shala and Chris. Mm. Good. <laughs> and Sarah. <laughs> <laughs>